Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review the 2022 film Pearl. Um, this was directed by Ty West and the synopsis is Trapped on an isolated farm, Pearl must tend to her ailing father under the watch of her mother. Lusting for the glamorous life she's seen in movies, Pearl's temptations and repressions collide. And it stars Mia Goth, David Corinswet, Emma Jenkins Pearl, Ali Stair Sewell, Matthew Sutherland, and Tandy Wright. So basically, I didn't know anything about this film. I kept on seeing thumbnails from it or videos on YouTube, but I didn't click on any of the videos. Um, I didn't know the connection between this and X. Um, you know, I recently watched the X. I don't know when I finally put two and two together. I think because I saw Mia Goth was playing both the characters. I was like, oh, these are connected and this is a prequel to X. And, um, but I was like, I didn't watch any trailers. I didn't watch, I knew she was killing folks, but I didn't watch anything. So um, I didn't watch the trailer to after I watched the movie. So I'll start with my cons, then my pros, um, and my overall feelings, and then my rating. Okay, so my cons, I don't have too many cons. Um, the two cons that I have is I didn't like the ending. Spoiler alert, I, I wish it would have ended when she killed a certain character with an axe at the end. That would have been, to me, it would have been a great ending. I just felt like everything that followed was just overboard. Like I've, I've said before, I'm not a gore person. And, I, and it's just, to me, it just became a little too much. And it just, not that I was like offended by anything. Like, oh, I'm just so grossed out. I just felt like it, it kind of cheapened the film for me, at least. You know, the only thing I will say is that um, I obviously wanted to see what Howard thought of everything or, or Howard's reaction because I'm like, well, in X, He's still with this woman so but but I think that's just it he's still with her so it's like and it's not like in the film they showed his response in a way of like okay this woman has some issues but I'm still gonna stick around so I didn't really feel the point of seeing anything we know this guy's still married to this woman after all she's done so I just wish it would have ended when um she killed that last that last character for me at least for me personally I just like when I don't necessarily have to see the violence I can just like make it up in my head and it's kind of open-ended but th that's how I felt about that um it's, it's just funny to me how when I saw her with this axe on the cover I'm like okay she's killing people and I automatically assumed that there was a reason like she had been hurt and she's going to kill the people that hurt her. And that's not what it is. And I honestly think that that's a good thing. Like it's not necessarily a vengeful movie. She actually has issues and she's killing folks. But it's just funny how I assume that, oh no, she got hurt by some men. And I just, I, obviously I'm getting into my overall thoughts, but. I just like that we're kind of flipping the narrative on kind of like female characters who end up murdering people. It's not always because somebody, you know, really, 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 really hurt them. Um, and then that's why they're going on this killing spree. Um, and I'm sure some people will debate that. But so that being said, I didn't. I felt like they, they they created a story and a character arc that made you want to empathize with her on why she's like this. But I didn't empathize with her that much. Cause for me, like I've even seen people kind of look at the mother as a bad guy. And I will say, I don't defend her putting her hands on her or anything like that. But I'm like, the mother's really in a hard place. Like she's not, you know, it's not like she lives in the suburbs and she's just keeping her child away from the city and, and exploring. Like, they're literally, there's a war going on. The, the, the father is a vegetable. They used to have a bunch of male farm hands and now they don't. So I understood where her mother was coming from. Like, she needed help around the house. And even though I do think the mother had resentment because of her situation, I didn't see her as a villain like of course she was cold and I was just like oh gosh but given the time period and the fact that they were in the middle of a pandemic like I just I thought Pearl was a little spoiled like I just 
not only that, she had issues. So when she's doing these murders, like I never felt like, and maybe that's not the point, but I never was like cheering for her because I didn't feel like the people in her life obviously did anything really to her. But I also think that that's the point. Like you empathize a little bit, but you don't really support what she's doing because she really doesn't need to be doing this. She has issues in my opinion. Um, so my pros, I just loved how it opened. It just felt like an old Disney film to me. <laughs> it was just like, the colors were so saturated, so bright. Mia just gives this like youthful performance, which I find so cool because an ex, she, she felt like, and maybe it was her clothing and stuff, she felt like a mid 20s something girl or early early 20s woman versus this, it was very childlike, you know? I just think she's a really, really, really good actress. Um, the colors were great, cinematography was great. Um, I just thought the acting was really good in this. Across, like, I said the acting was good in X, but really this, this was better. The acting was really, really good. Um, and I do appreciate the backstory because when you watch X, you don't really know why this woman is the way she is. Like, you know, on some basic levels, you can understand her aging and wanting to have affection, but in Pearl, you really get the backstory. And I felt like the, they just really explained the world well, because I don't know a lot about the wars, the war, World War One, World War Two, but I just, they they really painted a picture of what was going on at that time and how it affected people so i really like that um but overall like my overall thoughts i really liked seeing the connections between both films and like i watched x first and then i watched pearl so just seeing like the car how that car got in the water and seeing her relationship with this alligator and um, um also just the fact that Pearl and, and Maxine are just so similar. They literally have the same storylines, even though we don't know Max's storyline all the way through, but they have the same storyline. They want the same things. Um, so, and also kind of like the connection to porn was interesting that in X, of course, Maxine is shooting porn, but in Pearl, she's introduced to porn that was around back in the day. I don't think people realize that they're there, I think those were real videos. I, I think I've seen those before, like in a documentary or something, but they were really like porn videos in the silent, the, the silent uh, film era. So, um, which that was kind of creepy. Cause like, why are you showing her this? I didn't really like that. I didn't really like that from him, but so that was cool. But making all the connections like, oh, that's where that came from and that's where that, and then just seeing, the house before it really started to decay. And that wallpaper, that freaking red wallpaper was so beautiful. That was my favorite thing in this film. I loved the wallpaper and then I loved her clothes, some of the clothes she was wearing, um, Pearl was wearing, so. But yeah, it, it was good. I'm not gonna lie, that monologue at the end was a little too long for me, I'm not gonna lie, because I got the gist of it like halfway through. So I'm not, I know a lot of people like that shit, but to me it was a little too long. It was a little too long. So I'm just excited for this third film. Maxine! You know, I'm excited for Maxine. I don't even know like what's gonna happen, you know? Cause I'm like, Max, spoiler, but she, she killed in self-defense. So it makes me think in the third film, like does she become a serial killer? Like why is she becoming a serial killer? Is that really in her? Cause I didn't really, get that from her from the from x so i would like to see it i think it's gonna be cool pro i give pro a nine out of ten and this was also made on a, a million dollar budget like that to me it's so cool it just really is and i don't know if maybe it was harder for them having a, a small budget but it's like it's just really showing you a24 i'm sure there's other distribution companies or whatever but they're really showing you that you can make great films on a low budget but then again i don't know how that is as far as like the actors like you know how they get paid and stuff but if it affects everybody's paycheck when you're on a million dollar budget so that but 
that's what I really like. I really like the films that are coming out at A24 and um, it's just changing the game, changing the game. So uh, let me know your thoughts below. If you've seen both of these films, if you're excited for Maxine, if you watched it, cause I watched X then Pearl. If you watch Pearl then X, cause technically Pearl came is a prequel to X, but it came after X. But anyway, let me know your thoughts below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and um, look forward to my next video. Thanks for watching.